Hello friends, so 2000 fashion is back. Before we start, I just want to update this video that I made about how to make the debug items in Sims 4 show up. So instead of going through all that, this is the most updated one. So press shift control C, then type in testing cheats true, and then type in BB show hidden objects without on. That's it. It's fast. It's quick. And the debug items, if we search for it here, also shows up. If you're having trouble with the BB show hidden objects without the on, if ever the debug items don't show up, maybe possibly in the new update or whatnot, um, download Twisted Nexus Better Exceptions mod, run it to see what outdated mods most likely are causing that issue and update it or remove it. Anyway, now we go to the barbie mini castle embracing my barbie era so for this part i'm just making sure that everything is you know centered i was actually planning on playing an old barbie game the uh, this one detective barbie it, it, it holds a special place in my heart but then i got distracted with this pqi by I don't know how to pronounce this name, but I'm gonna flash it here. Love this big UI. They also have dark UI, green UI, and pretty bulk UI. So that's really awesome. And they're working on other color schemes. So I just want to create a mini castle for Barbie. Although this is on a 50 by 40 lot. So technically it's not really mini, but maybe I think the, I think the home is mini. I mean, the castle itself is mini. If we remove the hedge maze thing, maze thing, and parking area slash horse area. And also, unlike my other builds, because I haven't actually tried this before, I, saw, I, I decided to stick with base game files only and no CC. Although, if you download it, you're gonna see a CC mark because I used custom photos on the photo highlights. I did that through the Sims Tray Importer. In doing so, to automatically add your tray files as custom content, although it doesn't contain any custom content. I actually kind of struggled with the platform. I misclicked some areas and intentionally added some platform, but I fixed that. All, all of them are, you know, right level. I actually wanted to create just a cottage. I'm still obsessed. I still love the, um, cottage living back when i was doing this I, I wasn't even sure if can can i really do a barbie themed castle using base game files since i couldn't find a nicer piece for the wood i mean not wood for the stone exterior so i just used the wooden panel later on you're gonna see it so initially i was thinking of creating a core vibes because I am also planning on creating Stardew Valley characters and playing them here like I mean doing some challenges just short challenges not not so very or any legacy challenge actually any challenge that will make me you know divide the video into several parts I want a challenge that I can finish in just one video that's it because if there's an update and whatnot the AI app is, isn't cooperative with me sometimes, so I don't want to risk it again. Ruining my save file, like what happened with the Not So Berry challenge prior um, two years ago or one year? Yeah, two years ago. <laughs> we actually recovered the save file for that, recreated some events that, that already happened in the last video, but I don't know, I'm just not feeling it, you know? Maybe one of these days I'll upload the final video for that just to, you know, just to fully complete it because I don't want to leave things hanging. But anyway, back to this Barbie Manor or slash mini castle. Since I'm into the shield and black butler, so like, you, you know what? Let's create a castle instead. But instead of copying exactly the Phantom Hive Manor, the Phantom Hive Estate, which is massive, by the way, I think I need a 64 by 64 lot for that. I just oh, created this small version. Basically, I just copy paste the first floor to the second floor and then I removed certain parts and copy that till I reached the then they're struggling with the ceiling stuff fixing that thankfully <laughs> I don't want messy ceilings and then I kind of struggle with the roof because I'm like how am I supposed to put a roof on this and then I look at I look at a couple of castle info photos from Google just remember that I don't have to put 
proofs on everything, just on certain parts, such as the tower, the this the entrance part, the triangle one. And then I added this. I have no idea what this is called, but the the one at the top with the chimneys, and then some metal spikes, spires. I have no idea what they are called. I'm so sorry. Just to add more attitude to this castle. After that, I kind of struggled with the door. <laughs> like, I'm so tempted to use Get Famous back, the items in Get Famous back, because it's so princessy. It, it, the, the items there really fit the royalty. You know, it's very dupe. Like, I just see the bed, I just see the doors there, the windows there. Automatically, they remind me of those royal themed highness and webtoon. I'm not really into that genre, except, yeah, because this guy is handsome. Giving Iliad vibes from Stardew Valley for some reason. I don't know. Anyway, I'm really not an expert in terms of architectural design. <laughs> Maybe if any architect sees what I'm doing, they'll be like, oh. Alright, speaking of the not so bad challenge, we have G1 Hack here. You stay in there, breathe the nice country, fresh air. This is the main entrance, but there's another entrance over there for the cars or horses. So this is the garden slash mains, although it's not really a maze, more like a walkway. Since I'm using a texture mod, high-res texture mod, the normal ones are kind of different looking. But it's not that if you don't have these high-res texture mode, it's just gonna look with the usual Sims 4. It's still okay. It's just not this realistic graphic. So uh, it's kind of similar to Sims 3. You can put the cars there or horses. And this is the pond. I don't see the alligator yet. And this is the well where Sadako will pop off and debut. On the right here is our bar. I've finally decided that we're gonna have a live-in bar. Visitors can hang out here. Gym area, this is what it looks like. And they can also dance. If I wanna install the K-pop mod, washroom. So over here is where they can have a picnic. You can also replace this tree with the movie. If you have, since this is a base game and we don't have the movie outdoor item. So I just put a tree there. It's actually a cherry tree. To download this slot, you're gonna see a pink tree. I installed a replacement mod for some of the plants and trees and shrubs. So this is how it looks like. But in your game, it's gonna be the cherry, get cherry pink tree. I actually want that. Well, I'm kind of lazy to remove this mod. So I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. I'll go with this. I'm actually thinking of Elizabeth Shell Phantom Hive's fiance. And this is where she'll love hanging out a lot the most. Now we move on to the entrance so this is what it looks like when you enter the castle so i tried my best to be fancy free cookies and that's where the visitors can wait or hang around until they're invited deep inside the castle it's gonna be the guests um room where they can sleep for the night and this is another waiting area after they get invited here by Sebastian. So maybe sometimes Shell, or actually not really Shell. I don't think he plays the piano. Well, Sebastian will be the one playing this, or maybe some other hired musician. Are we have a musician already, like like we do with Butler. The cook slash helpers area where they can quickly wash the dishes. Some nice feng shui accent, all right, for great luck. And VIP dessert. And then this area over here, this is another, just another washroom slash toilet for the cook and the, the servers, this house helpers. Now we go to the second house, I mean second floor of this castle. So this is just, I just put it like that, so it looks like, I don't know, laundry, laundry area slash this is gonna be their dirt kitchen. Fruit cake. Um, the fridge, and so this is the west wing where the the butler Sebastian and his assistants are gonna prepare the meal for Shell Phantom Pie, and then on uh, around here is where they can chill, just relax there, and talk, and others can hang hang out here. 
gaze at the sky and try not to be abducted by aliens. So if we go back here, so the dining area, and then this other door here near the entrance, where only the residents of this household are allowed to enter this. So this one is another like private sitting area, discuss whatever secrets and you know, whatnot, or maybe crochet or do some other hobbies. Here is the back door of this manor leading to this wide open space. I think there's a mod for that. Like we can customize the lot without any greens on. I forgot the name of that mod, but I, I know there's a mod for that. I am not, I'm just not sure if it's updated. I want to add barn animals from the cottage living. Obviously, I don't want to put the cows here. It's like, I want to put them there. Anyway, so this is the back door of the castle. Nice touch there so they can, you know, freshen themselves up before they meet the cows and chickens and whatnot. So this is Shell Phantom Hives, or actually this is more like Sebastian's reading area. Quiet place where he can not be disturbed by anyone. So the, we are now in the East Wing part. So this is Shell slash Sebastian's own bathroom. Although Sebastian doesn't really need it because he's, he's a, you know, he's a demon. And does he need to take a bath? I don't know. Maybe not. He has magic powers. Anyway, so this is Shell. It's gonna be Shell Phantom Hives. If he gets married with Elizabeth, then it is gonna be their bedroom. And it has a walk-in closet. If you have the Cat Famous back, and just replace this. Or like renovate this area. Probably expand this. I don't know. Remove the Mastian's bedroom. And move it somewhere. But since I want to stick with the base game only, so that's how it is this is shell and sebastian's main office slash learning area well actually more more like business slash office area because the topmost part of this castle is where he learns stuff where he studies and i decorated this office um i was thinking of this part as something that he can also learn fencing or swordsmanship so now we're moving on to the, this is the central part. So this one, if especially if the guests have their own baby, I just added that bassinet there. You can also hang around here, read books and stuff. I was actually having second thoughts whether I'll add a door here towards the kitchen, but I want I want it totally separate so the guests won't wander around here in the servants area and disturb how they cook and stuff. On the third floor is where everyone can just, you know, hang out, play cards, or read more books, or just, you know, lo just lounge around. Special crate and stuff over here. Special supplies, or they can, like, view the garden from here. It's gonna be the common bathroom, although there's also a another toilet area over here, and as well as the one downstairs. And this there. Sleeping quarters, yay! So up here is the study area slash attic. If anyone finds downstairs a little too, you know, loud or lively, then they can quietly sneak here and study. I actually prepped this area for homeschooling and they can also Wait here if they want to. And up here, the other in Black Butler and the other um, shell servants can easily like go around on top of the castle and defend it. I don't have any challenges in mind for Shell and Sebastian yet at the moment. So yeah, let's see how that goes. Probably on the video after the next one, because I'm gonna be uploading a Stardew Valley video after this and then the next one after that is seems for it again so yeah that's all